welcome back to the new old vlog. It is but of course your boy Smoothie here on this hump day. It is Wednesday, May 18th, 2016. You know what it is and you know what time it is. It's time to get ready to strap on the good old shoes. Of course, because I don't walk on bare feet. And head to work. So we'll see you out in the car. And we are back in the car, in the seat, getting ready to head out for the day to get this day started, to get this hump day started. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and let's see what this day has in store for us. Or it's, uh, I don't know. back here at the job looks like it's gonna be a beautiful morning seeing the sunrise over the buildings over there one day I'm gonna get out here and get maybe a time-lapse of the Sun coming up over there maybe not necessarily during the workday maybe I'll get up early one weekend morning and just drive down here to, to capture that who knows we'll see I'm going inside now I'll see you later Oh, I'm out and about on lunch break once again, running quickly to the Target here to pick up some hand soaps because we are in much dire need of hand soap at home. And I figure because I have a lot going on this evening with uh, church and watching the girls um, right after work that I won't have much of a chance to run to any store to get it. So I needed to get up and stretch my legs from work for a bit. So off to Target we go. So this is definitely one of the biggest targets I've ever been at here. It is, there's a parking garage and escalators to get to the actual main store. So fortunately enough, this target is laid out like most of the other targets. So I know where I'm going. What is up everyone? Well, the work hump day is officially over and I'm on my way home. What a good day it's been and a good week actually because I work from home tomorrow and then I'm off on Friday. So no traveling for the next two days to my job site. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing and it's so, so great to be able to have this opportunity to work from home and you know, it saves a few dollars in the process as well, each and every week. So, I'm so grateful for that opportunity. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm trying to think up, you know, day number four for the 31 day blog vlog challenge. Uh, this is definitely a tough one that we've got coming up here. So, I'm gonna let you go. Actually, I'm gonna let myself go and get to driving. So, I'll see you in a bit. What's up everyone, it's your boy Smoothie back with one of his good and dear friends, Megan. She is a first timer in direct relation to the camera for the new old vlog. You've seen her in many background shots, but this is her first time. So how would you like to christen your inaugural voyage on the vlog? I have a hair question for any female viewers or significant others of the male viewers or friends or family. Friday night we're going Tom and I are going to a dinner, and it's a fancy dinner, and I would like to wear my hair in either a bun type of thing or a low bun type of thing, because it's gonna be warmer, and um, I don't really feel like straightening it, and my hair um, 
is just funny curling. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, and I have this, don't take my pipe cleaner necklace as a fashion statement of my taste. But I have wing dings here, and I don't want wing dings sticking out in my hair. So if there is any suggestions on hair products that I can do to tame my wingdings up here, so I'm not at this fancy banking association dinner with wingdings, I would gladly take any advice. I got some stuff, it's like pomade or wax or something that goes in the hair, and I'm half afraid to use it because I don't want to look like I have a helmet head. Well, I, I certainly don't have any problems with hair issues. But I know there's probably a few people out there that will be willing to give you some tips. And I want cheap products, too. Everything I, on a budget. I, I, I don't want to spend $15 on hair wax that I'm going to use once or twice. But I also want it to be good. So if there's a happy medium, I'm okay spending, like, more than a couple bucks if it's good product. But I don't want to spend, like, a ton of money. So. So I guess that's the question for this evening. Yes. How to help Megan's wingdings. I have wingdings. I have no idea what wingdings are, but apparently they're a thing. So please leave your comments below. Wingdings are these. Oh. See wingdings. Oh. Wing. Your hair's up. See up. And I have wingdings. They stick out, especially when it's like warm or humid. So let's get Megan's wingdings. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wingdings fixed. So Thanks. That's it. Next time you see me, we'll be wrapping it up. Yep. Say bye, Megan. Bye, Megan. Since I have a few minutes here while I'm waiting to pick up Casey and waiting for the bell ring, I figure I would get right into day number four of the 31 day blog vlog challenge. Today's uh, bullet point or topic was my earliest childhood memory. And I went through this all day trying to figure out what could have possibly been my earliest childhood memory. I have lots of memories um, growing up and some go back and you know, my mom and family are even surpri surprised I remember some of these things. But I would have to say my earliest childhood memory is kind of multi-part. So long story short, on Saturday evenings, my grandparents would come up on my dad's side and they would come over and watch shows and have, and after I would go to bed, they would sit and have coffee and watch TV. And the one evening I came down and Rocky Three was on, and it was the scene where Mick had just passed away and they were laying him the rest in the memorial place mausoleum type thing. And I said, I remember being here. And they kind of looked at me like I was crazy. You know, I was probably about five or six, six or seven even. And they're like, you're crazy, whatever. So, you know, I just went back to bed, didn't think anything of it. And then a few years later, um, my grandfather on my mother's side had passed away. And when we went to the memorial service, I walked in. I said, this is the place I was talking about all those years ago. So I'm not only remembering way, way back in the day, but I'm also remembering back to that night when I was talking about seeing it in Rocky. So I asked my mom, I said, Mom, it are you know, are there anybody else buried? Here? Is there anybody else from your family buried here or that I, we would have been here before? And I wasn't there for when my grandmother passed away. I didn't go to the service, so I wasn't there then. And apparently one of her uncles or our uncles, or her uncles, probably great uncle or whatnot, was uh, buried there and we attended the more memorial service. I forget the year and I'll have to find that out. But my mom did have me and I was probably only, you know, one, two, maybe three. And I've remembered it. I just, that stood out in my mind. So it's kind of strange that Rocky spurred on one of my earliest childhood memories. So yeah, that's it. That's entry for day number four to 31 day blog vlog challenge. Kind of a fun and random memory, but it's a memory nonetheless. So thank you for taking the time to listen to it. And if you want to catch a more in detailed, you know, write out or description of my earliest childhood memory, remember you can go over to incsmoothieentertainment.com and check out the actual blog post. So with that being said, thank you. And make sure you come back tomorrow for day number five of the 31 day blog vlog challenge. We now return you to your regularly scheduled, the new old vlog. What is up everyone? It is that time of night where we close out this vlog, the new old vlog. For this hump day, I 
thank you all very much for tuning in. And I want to real quick say thank you to our special guest, Megan, who had some questions about some hair issues. So if you can offer her any advice, please leave those comments below. And we'll do a follow-up on Friday just to see how your advice worked out. And with that being said, I want you all to take care, God bless, and stay smooth. And we will see you tomorrow on the new old vlog. Good night, everyone.